Hey guys, this is Charles Jaeger with Metal. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the new Metal Globe Preview, which is included with Mantra VR. It's a brand new way of previewing your 360 projects in real time in After Effects. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, inside of After Effects, the first thing you're going to want to do before you enable the Global Preview is you may need to come here and go to your preferences. So go to Edit, and then Preferences, and then come on down here to where it says Video Preview. Under the video preview options, you're going to want to make sure you have Enable Mercury Transmit checked on. And then down here in the video device, make sure you have the Metal Global Preview also checked on. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now we can go ahead and launch the Globe Preview. And the way we do that is we come here to Window. Then you're going to see Extensions. And then you come over here and you're going to see Metal Globe Preview. When you click that, you should see the Metal Globe Preview pop up. And as you can see, we have a 360 sphere spinning around here, and this is the default image that is on the Metal Globe Preview. And I can actually click this with my mouse to navigate around. But let's say I want to preview some of my own 360 footage. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select some 360 footage I have in After Effects, add it to a new composition. And if I just go ahead and click in that comp window, you're going to see it's automatically going to update in the Metal Globe Preview. So now I can actually click on this globe and navigate around it to see my 360 composition in 360. Now I'm going to go ahead and center this up here just so we can go through a couple more options. This window is also resizable, so you can click and drag it whatever size you want or put it on an alternate monitor. As I mentioned, you can just click and drag to rotate around the globe. You can also wheel on your mouse backwards or forwards to zoom in and out. Another thing you'll notice up here in the top left corner, you'll see it looks like an unfolded cube map, and that's exactly what it is. So the center one is actually the front perspective. So you can actually just click there. It's automatically going to go to the front perspective. And then you can go to the right-hand side, the back, click on the left, and then we have the bottom, and then also the top. So again, it's just unfolded like an actual cube map. And again, to center up, just click on the center one. Over here, we can enable the degree and horizon line. So I'm just going to click that. You're going to see all of these lines with degrees and horizons on the globe. And this enables you to kind of see the horizon line and make sure everything's level, but also look at the pole points of your 360 video. And you can also see the back area. See, this would be the 180 degree marker. And then we come around here to the front, which is zero degrees. To turn those back off, all you need to do is just click back on that icon. Something else you can do actually is you can have the globe rotate while you're working. And the way you do that is just click and subtly drag and let go. And you're going to see the globe begin to spin. And this way you can see an ever-changing view perspective while you're working. And if you want that to stop, all you need to do is just click on it and it will stop. However, the really cool trick with the global preview is our ability to actually view the perspective from inside of it. So all you need to do is just double click on the globe and that will immerse us inside of the 360. And now we can just click around and drag and look around just like we would a regular 360 video. And you can see down here, we have an indicator of where the front area is and where we're currently looking. You can also use the wheel on your mouse to zoom in or zoom out. And you're gonna see a field of view down here in the right hand corner. You can see currently it's 95.2. And when I zoom in, I can go all the way to 50 degrees field of view. And I can zoom back out and it's all the way to 100 degrees. Now, if you want this to go back to the default of 70, all you need to do is click on it. And it will automatically go back to 70 degrees. And if we want to quickly exit from this POV view, just double click again and you will exit the sphere. Now, the other really nice feature with this global preview is that we can dock this in After Effects. So I'm just going to select right here on the global preview and you can see it's going to pop up like it's dockable and I'll just dock it right here. And again, as I work, this will constantly update and we can see that. I can go ahead and do a quick RAM preview and we can see it update on the global preview. As you can see, I'm currently doing a RAM preview here and you can see it is updating over here in the global preview and I can actually rotate this while the video is playing and see a live update. And I can actually double click and go inside it and view the video from a POV perspective as it's playing. Now, if there's ever a situation where you make a change and you don't see it reflected in the global preview, you may just need to click right here on the comp area and that should automatically update the global preview then. And this preview will even update when we apply Mantra VR effects to our footage. 
So I'm just gonna come up here and select the Montre VR turbulence effect, apply it to my footage. And then if I come over here and just increase the progress, we will see that actually update on the Metal Globe preview and we can rotate around and look at this in 360. All right guys, so hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial of the Metal Globe preview that's a part of Montre VR. Again, this has been Charles Jager for Metal. Thanks for watching.